another beautiful day in my game. Beautiful water, the flowers smelling of sweet pollen, and yo, 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 um, yo, chill, bro, bro, uh, yo, stop following me, okay? I'm gonna call the cops on you, bro, stop following me. Is this bullet following me? <laughs> so today, I will be creating a deadly killer for my game. I don't call it a deadly killer for no reason. It's definitely broken, as you saw a few seconds ago. So the first thing that you gotta do when you're creating an enemy is, well, I actually don't know. Although I love to pretend that I'm an expert at this topic to boost my self-morale, I genuinely had no idea. So as a low-life kid in 2020 stuck at home, once said, Just, just, just code, just, just code, go code, okay? Can you go code now? I began coding the following mechanic of the enemy. Here you can see it working in action. The enemy will steadily make its way towards you. Bruh. Now you can probably see a small issue with our enemy. First off, when it catches the player, it goes on top of it, which can be considered, you know, so I made it so that the enemy would stop at a certain distance from the player, cause, you know, personal space. I then decided that the green grass needed something to complement it. So as the a goblin that never goes outside, I decided to think real hard about what I could add that is in nature. And listen, since I am Aristotle's distant cousin, I have a big brain, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and since I have a big brain, I went to Google, searched up nature elements, and so, for the first time in my life, I found water. Let's look at what Wikipedia has to say about this mysterious substance. Um, it's uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes. Okay, um. In the sea, the water forms into curvaceous waves that bask the boats and fish in the sea. Ho hold up. Curvaceous waves? Listen, I cannot make this crap up. Go to the Wikipedia page right now. Okay, I'll cut the crap now. Basically, I've been trying to say that I was going to add water. So I did. And I don't know about you, but this water is looking very watery. I then realized something. An enemy really isn't an enemy without shooting and an actual dedicated enemy sprite. Currently, it's just a duplicate of the player, which is confusing, to say the least. Unless you're into seeing duplicates of yourself chase you down, spraying bullets at your head. I mean, if that's your thing, I, I won't judge, you know? So I sat down in my office chair, or rather, wrapped myself in my bed sheets at 4am and started drawing out what would become a ripoff of my enemy from my 2D platformer game. I cannot see any resemblance, I don't know what you're talking about, and I would advise you to shut your mouth right now. I tried to make four different angles of the enemy, but I just couldn't get the side view right. Uh, just, just look at this, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Anyway, here's the enemy in action. I think it turned out pretty good. I then added some epic shooting, thus completing our first enemy. Now obviously, I will add more juiciness to the enemy such as screen shake, but that's for another video. <laughs> So I sat, I mean, lay down in my bed once again, wondering what I was doing with my life, as well as what I should add next. I then came to a sudden realization, an enlightenment, that I was a genius. And also that I had just the right thing to add, homing missiles. So with the help of online tutorials, I got a nice ball of fire following us, or homing in. <laughs> now, let's have a word from our sponsor, you, that's right, you subscribe now or um uh I, I don't know okay something will happen and um I, it, it, just subscribe okay please <laughs> please now both our enemies are cool and all but i feel that there is still something missing something sacred unity's particle system so now that we added some extra juicy particle effects to our enemy bullets, it was time to do some other things. And I say others because I literally have no clue what the things are. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think about homing missiles, I don't think of a ball of fire. I think of a rocket. A SpaceX Elon Musk rocket ship. <laughs> Sorry, did I say missile? I decided it wouldn't fit my theme, so I ended up making a cooler fireball. Totally not because I'm lazy or anything. I then implemented it, and it's starting to look pretty nice.
In my last video, I talked about how I achieved transparency of the trees when our player got close to them. And I also asked whether anyone knew a better way of doing it. Please let me know if there is a way to code lowering the opacity. Lo in the hold, a few hours later, I got a DM conversation. I went something like this. <laughs> Look, Saifa, you're absolutely stupid, okay? Uh, yeah, I, I really am stupid. Um, so uh, what are you DMing me about? Well, I, I, I just wanted to tell you a bad so way. Here's the code, blah, 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 blah. Explanation, explanation. And, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, this, un I understand everything perfectly. Thank you so much. Obviously, he wasn't that rude. <laughs> okay, okay. So now for today's devlog question, what do you think of the enemies? Do you have any enemy ideas? Let me know in the comments below. In the next devlog, I will most likely spice up the game in terms of looks. And when I say spice up, I mean absolutely make it spicy. And that's about all I've done this month. I know. It's not too much. I was delayed by two weeks just because I have full day art classes, which was crazy. Although I did learn a lot. Anyways, leave a sub, like, and a comment if you want to see more. Links below if you want to stalk me. And I mean, yeah, that's about it. New video coming at you soon. Also, make sure to join my Discord server. Link is below, so feel free to join. Now, stay safe, and uh, I'll see you next time. What? You haven't joined Safer's Discord server? <laughs> you know, it's cool, right? I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but... Join it first, then you can tell me whether it's good or not. Not convinced yet? Well, we have an amazing community of developers and gamers alike. Advertising channels, fun bots, and the best part, huge events and giveaways. Still not convinced yet? Okay, I'll cut you a deal. Joining my server is free, and that's a great price.